we got a package. You guys have been asking me over and over again to review a fake Apple Watch Ultra. And since I have the original one, I genuinely love it, but the price range is just crazy. For those of you who want the Apple Watch Ultra look, but don't wanna pay the Apple Watch Ultra price, could this be an alternative? Let's find out on today's episode of PRG. You got some interesting packaging. You can just slide this out. Damn, it actually looks pretty cool. This isn't one of those fakes that are branded as Apple. It says Zo. Is that a K? Zok Dai Apple Watch Ultra 49 millimeters. Oh, oh it's Zor Dai. How is this an R? Okay, whatever. Let's check out the packaging. This product is not a medical device. Okay, it has the disclaimers. That's cool. All right, let's uh, let's open this up and, and check it out. Hopefully, it's uh, a good watch. So this watch was around fifty dollars. If it's a good watch, I'll leave the link in the description and the comments for you guys. If it isn't, no, you know, too bad. So we'll cut this open. Can remove the plastic peel. Let's see if it does the apple drop. Kind of. Design it for building an amazing lifestyle. Google Translate strikes again. So inside the Design It for Amazing Lifestyle, we have what looks to be clones of the Apple Watch Ultra Bands. This is actually pretty cool. I'll also be checking to see if these are compatible with the real Apple Watch Ultra in a little bit. Let's see what else is in here. We have the User Manual, Sports Smartwatch. Pause to read. We'll move that aside. We have the charger, which looks like a pretty standard Apple Watch charger with the typical USB and not USB-C. And we have the Apple Watch Ultra. I still have glue on my hands. I was building a PSP frame before this. You can actually purchase that and build it yourself if you want. Links in the description. Anyway, back to the Apple Watch. We'll remove the plastic peel. So far, this actually looks really good and it feels heavy. Damn. Has the Zordai. Let's remove the plastic peel. And I'm actually gonna do a side-by-side -side of the two watches because just right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed with the looks. I'll take off the bands of my original. Take a look inside. You can see that there's water inside the smartwatch. And that's one of the downfalls of having this kind of wristband. Because it's porous, water gets stuck in there and kind of just chills there until you move enough for it to get out, which is uh, kind of annoying. There we go. Now we'll get a side-by-side -side of both smartwatches. The bezels on the fake Apple Watch seem to be a bit larger than the real one, which is to be expected. The color also seems to be slightly off, although it's almost there. The crown of the fake Apple Watch makes a clicking noise, while the real one just rolls smoothly. The screens of the Apple Watches both sit flush, and from this angle, it's actually very hard to tell the difference. They both have the orange action button, but the fake one is a lot brighter than the original. It's very easy to tell which one's fake and which one's real when you turn them around. The fake one has a weird font and the sensors just don't look very real. It's also missing some screws on the back. We're gonna put both of them on a scale and see how much they weigh. We'll start off with the real one. So the real one weighs 62 grams, it's a thick boy. The fake one weighs 47 grams, quite a significant weight difference. Now we'll boot up the fake Apple Watch. Hopefully it's already charged. Nope, seems like it came dead. Let's charge up this guy. Oh, what? So apparently it's on. I'm very confused, I don't know what just happened. Okay, the Apple Watch is, oh, ew. Uh, uh. That's the brightest it goes. Okay, this is gonna be hard to work with. Right off the bat, the Apple Watch Ultra is so much brighter than the fake Apple Watch Ultra. Like, with all the lighting around the studio, it's actually incredibly hard to see the screen right now, which is not really a good sign. If we go into the fake Apple Watch Ultra, the app menu is incredibly ugly, in my opinion. It does not look good at all. We're gonna test out a few of these features and uh, see how functional this Apple Watch Ultra actually is. But first, a from our sponsor. Do you want to get started fixing phones? Yes, good. This PRG mat is the best way to do that with multiple holes for all the screws, magnets, magnets. You can even put your screwdriver in the hole here and there's flaps for parts that you don't want to lose. I mean, everything's labeled. This is just hands down the best mat you could buy in the entire world. Links in the comments and the descriptions. Get you or your loved one a purge mat today. We'll put the bands on the watch. 
they slide in uh, pretty smooth. Now we'll put the watch on. So the band is definitely made of less durable material than the actual Apple Watch band. It does look legit though. It looks a lot like the real Apple Watch and it kind of feels like it too. So for looks, this is actually doing quite well. It'll fool 99% of people into thinking you actually have the Apple Watch, but I played with the functionality a little bit. So scrolling the wheel changes the watch face. There's a whole bunch of weird watch faces. And to actually get to the app library, you have to scroll down. And we're greeted by a bunch of these really ugly apps. And I can barely see the screen, just like you guys can barely see the screen right now. If you're outside and the sun's out and it's really bright, you're not even going to be able to see the watch. That's a big issue if you're using a smartwatch. The heart rate sensor does actually work, which is good. It's not fake. It is accurate. This watch actually also has a temperature sensor, which I did not expect. I tested this earlier. It is also accurate, which is pretty cool. This watch is actually one of the faster fake smartwatches I've used. It also has the pedometer. These rings are definitely fake though because I literally just put this on. I really wish the brightness would go higher than this. The font they use is incredibly ugly and the functionality of this is not amazing. This is the flashlight feature. The difference is just crazy. But this is 50 bucks and this is around 800, so kind of makes sense. The action button is actually the app switcher instead of an exercise menu. Let's take a look at the instruction manual and see uh, how we use this thing. ECG, calculator, sleep, find my iPhone, find mobile phone, breathing, okay. Massager, tap the green button to start the massage and the watch is in a vibrating state. Tap the red button to end the massage. Okay, I have to try this out. Okay, I think that's it over there. Let's tap it. All right, hopefully this works. Okay, I don't really feel much. It's just kind of vibrating. That was useless. So it literally just vibrates the device. You can't even really feel it, but uh, Apple, take notes. This would actually be a really cool feature. We'll get out of this. I think there's actually a water eject button too. You can find that. I can barely see the screen. Is it this one? That's the oxygen levels, but I think that's gimmicky. I don't think that'll actually work. So to actually connect the watch to your phone, you have to download the Zordai app. And the Zordai app has one star from one person. So good, good stuff. I don't really want to download this, to be honest. Probably gonna track me. I guess we're doing it. Guys, leave a like on this video because Zordai now knows who I am and they can track me. This is the Zordai app very well put together it's actually not too bad how do i connect the watch though add device scanning okay connected pretty fast now we're pairing with the watch okay so the zordai app is now paired we're gonna test out a phone call and see if we can actually answer it on the zordai watch we have the prompt here with just a button to hang up on him uh, how do we answer? When he calls me, it just says Jonathan with a hang up button. There's no real way to answer this phone call. How do I pick up? Yeah, that's, that's a gimmick. So when you get a text, this is how you'll receive it. In a very ugly UI, just says the name and the text, which is, you know, decent. Let's see if we can actually make a phone call. I hit open. Please pair Zordai audio. So there's actually a find watch feature on here. It's basically when you lose your watch, you can hit find watch. Makes a weird noise. Cool. Okay, um, take pictures. No way. Oh, it's just the button. So you can actually take pictures using the watch as well. It just presents you with basically a camera button and I can just hit it and it takes pictures. That's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, this watch is actually giving me a headache. It's not a bad watch, it looks okay. The functionality is decent and the frame rate of the display is actually not too bad. 
I mean, for 50 bucks, it passes the test. It's not terrible, but this watch is only really good if you're trying to look like you have an Apple Watch and don't really have an Apple Watch. I just, I don't know. Something about these fake watches, they're not a good experience. The app is interesting. There's a lot of glitches, a lot of bugs. It's obviously not refined because it is fake. It's just supposed to look like the original. It doesn't have to do everything the original does. Should you guys buy this? I wouldn't recommend it. This is not a very pleasant experience and and I honestly couldn't wait to get it off my wrist. If the screen was brighter, I might have actually recommended it, but it's not bright at all. And considering the whole point of having an Apple Watch is to be able to use it outside, look at your wrist without looking at your phone. But yeah, if, if it was brighter, maybe I'd recommend it. If you guys want me to open up this watch, be sure to comment down below. I'll probably open it up in a short video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.